really there are a number of drivers that uh, come together in a cooking pot and uh, have, have created this culture of innovation at FNB. The first one is leadership. We've got a very charismatic CEO um, who's, who's very much on fire for innovation and he is the ultimate flag bearer uh, for innovation in the organization. And that creates a very nice tailwind and um, sort of buy-in amongst uh, everyone else that this is a priority in the business. Uh, it also helps that he has an innovation target embedded in his uh, performance contract and that cascades down into his uh, EXCO team and into most of our uh, performance contracts as well. So we measure innovation and that helps because you get what you measure. Uh, another key driver of innovation is our decentralized structure. We, we very much are a fleet of speed boats zipping around uh, uh, and each of those speed boats has a captain that we call an owner manager who's encouraged to, to, to run their part of the business as if it was their own business. Taking into uh, account uh, you know, risk and compliance issues, but effectively uh, discretionary decision rights are very deeply devolved in the business. So you've got uh, quite a flat organization and it doesn't take time to get traction on, on a good idea and implementing that good idea and reaping some, some business benefit from it. So we're a fleet of speedboats competing with uh, with typically big battleships. Um, another key component is the culture we've inherited from RMB when they bought FNB back in 1998. Very entrepreneurial business, um, and they've injected that entrepreneurial flair into, into FNB, uh, and it works very well with the, the, the um, decentralized structure that I've just mentioned. Process wise, we try to keep things very light. And we don't tie people up in unnecessary red tape, uh, but we operate kind of like a venture capital um, system at FNB. So very seldomly will there actually be a budget for innovation. The trick is if you've got an idea that's aligned to our strategy, you've got to go and convince somebody who has budget um, that they need to invest some of that budget in implementing your idea. So um, it's, it's not always easy. It takes a lot of stamina, it takes a lot of networking. But in true entrepreneurial style, you've got to take uh, the bull by the horns or uh, take the idea by the scruff of the neck and you've got to make it happen. Another key element is that uh, most of us do innovation over and above our day jobs. So once you've raised the money to get implementation going, you've got to go and convince some people who have existing priorities and, and performance contracts in place that uh, it's a good idea for them to add your idea and implementation of it to, to their list of things to do. Um, and, and that can also be quite challenging, but uh, effectively you grow your network in the process, you grow personally, um, and it's a great stretch. The last uh, element I think that we, we've thrown into the pot of innovation at FNB is the reward element. Um, if you shoot the lights out from an innovation perspective, we really um, can change your life in terms of the, uh, the rewards that we'll shower onto you. Um, and we also make heroes out of our, our, our innovators um, in, in that process. So we very much put our money where our mouth is when it comes to um, encouraging innovation and rewarding innovation.